Well, Maryland uh, in 1649 adopts this legislation allowing for religious toleration. In other words, that any people can worship freely without any punishment, without any disability. The government is not going to interfere in religious worship. Uh, the reason for that is partly because Maryland had been racked by the same kind of struggles that were going on in England at the time, Protestants and Catholics fighting each other, supporters of the king and parliament. It was a, kind of, a, a sort of years of anarchy in Maryland in the 1640s. And um, also Maryland had been established largely by Catholic uh, proprietors, and Catholics were not given toleration throughout most of the British Empire. And so uh, in order to sort of bolster their position as a religious group in, uh, in Maryland uh, during the English Civil War, they decided to, you know, they wanted to uh, formalize the fact that they would, that all groups would enjoy uh, religious rights. This was important because it is one of the very first public legal statements of this principle of religious toleration. It doesn't last, it's overturned for a while later, then it comes back again. Most of the other colonies do not adopt religious toleration until much later, but the Maryland Act is really a, a milestone in a sense on the road to a much greater religious freedom, which will eventually be enjoyed uh, at the time of the American Revolution and the Constitution.